Hi there, guys. Ken here. You're the Rifty Apprentice. Welcome back into the studio, everyone. And today we have a very easy, beginner-friendly, targeted composition. I am using some really economical paints. Please feel free to use whatever paints you have in your studio. This is simply to get some practice in and to help us advance. So I'm starting off by blocking off a little... Um, square on a 9 by 12 piece of 100% cotton watercolor paper. I believe that's New York Central. And um, as I said earlier, this is a really economical set that I'm just kind of playing around with doing a little testing on. Um, I started with painting a sky using cerulean ultramarine towards the top of that sky to keep it um, keep it dark because a dark uh, the top part of your sky would be darker of course and then I drop in gamboge along the horizon line to give it a sunlit golden yellow glow um, next I put in a mountain just a small one to make it look like there was a lot of distance between the horizon line and the foreground and that was done with ultramarine and burnt sienna I do believe I dropped a little vermilion in it just to give it a little difference in color and then i moved on to painting the water which was tackled again with the cerulean blue the ultramarine and of course i used the gamboge to bring the reflection of that golden sun down into the water after that dried i moved on to doing the foreground and the foreground are mixtures of sap green for the grass and then for the darker shadowed grass i went in with a mixture of sap green and ultramarine blue i used a fine liner to drag up some really fine thin grasses and then a credit card scraper to do the exact same thing of course adding some striations into the paper um giving it texture making it look like grass blades keep in mind that credit card scraper depending on the wetness of your paint is either going to scribe in dark lines or scrape away giving you light lines you'll have to play around with it to see what happens here i'm going in with a mixture of the burnt umber that's in this set i mix it with a little ultramarine blue to darken it up and i'm using that to paint in the two trees that are going to frame the actual picture in the foreground and when drawing in the branches, I'm really just holding the brush kind of loose and letting it wiggle around because, you know, trees come in all different shapes and sizes. And, and you know, there would be nothing that's truly symmetrical. Just kind of trying to keep it natural. I'm adding in some shadow on the darker side of my tree because I do realize that the sun would be reflecting more so towards that area right in between the trees. After that dried, I'm grabbing the same sap green mixtures, um, the regular sap green, and then the darker sap green mixed with ultramarine blue in order to dab in some leaves on the tree. Again, helping to frame that top section. That way it draws your eyes directly through the middle of the tree to the horizon line when the viewer looks at the painting and i think that's a really cool trick now i did splatter both the sap green and the darker green into the skyline just to add more texture more leaves make it look like a few flyaways um and then i decided to throw some birds in across the horizon just so you'll have something to focus on looking through those trees next came time for highlights and of course i use bleed proof and that's pretty much going to wrap it up guys now before i completely wrap it up i am going to take a black fine liner and outline the square i'm painting in at the top and the empty one at the bottom this is going to give me another section to paint in i have found that i really love doing it dividing my 9 by 12 papers or a sketchbook up into different sections it just helps to break and ease looking at such a large white area to paint um and that's pretty much gonna wrap it up i do believe that my paint bleeds out of my tape just a little bit so towards the very end you're going to see me take bleed proof just to clean that up but guys that's going to bring the video to an end thank you so much for joining me if you saw anything you like don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe comment hit that video description up for all of the relevant links and remember just keep painting and crafting